What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. It's so great to have you here and see all of your smiling faces. It's been a minute. It's been two minutes. It's actually been way longer than two minutes because you get it. Today we're talking about how I light my videos. I see these comments all the time, every week. Emails, DMs, tweets, carrier pigeons. That's right, someone sent a raven with this very question. It's something I see a lot of, so I figured we could take two minutes and uh, rip through this real fast. So let's throw two minutes on the clock and let's go. All right, simple, simple, simple video. How do you light your videos? Well, I use an Aperture 120D Mark II and an Aperture Light Dome. Essentially, when you are lighting someone or an interview or anything like that, you're gonna use like a three-point lighting setup. You're gonna have a key light, you're gonna have a rim light, then you're gonna have a fill light. I don't use any of those. I mean, I use a key light, but that's the only one I use. I don't use a hair light or a fill light because one light right here pretty much does the job. All right, so this is what the setup looks like with one key light, looks a little bit like this close up, but if we back way up, you can see it's actually not that big of a setup. It's pretty easy, it's pretty versatile, and it's pretty clean and tight. So that is the wide shot of what you're looking at or what I'm looking at when I'm actually making these videos. Let's bring it back in. Ugh, okay, what's up? So that is what it looks like. I have one aperture 120D Mark II up and to the left. I usually try to light it so it's down a little bit. It's not pointing directly at my face, but I have it as close to my face as I can because the closer you get a large light like that with a big soft box, the soft and more kind of just pretty that light is gonna look. And then you get that catch light as well on your eyes. I don't know if we can zoom in on my eyes here. <laughs> but you get a nice catch light. Now, that's where the new Aperture Light Dome Mark II comes in because the old one kind of has these harsh edges, like an octagon. I'm not even sure how many sides it has. It's probably something crazy that I've never heard of, but you can see those hard lines. Whereas the new one, they've added even more rods. So you can see it's way more circular. So the catch light in someone's eyes, which is the reflection of the light that they're actually using to light their film or their movie, whatever, it's gonna be perfectly round. So that is always a huge plus. So the fact that They've added that into the new light dome. Woo! Yes, please. Also, it sets up and tears down in like seconds. The old one, the rods had to come out and it was just like a mess. The new one, <laughs> dunzo. Like literally two second setup, two second tear down. So that makes everyone's life easier. They've got two versions of it. They've got a large version and they have the mini. The mini would be great if you were filming in your bedroom or you had a really small, tight space, but you still wanted to use a soft box. It won't be as soft because obviously the light is gonna be more directional given that that soft box is small smaller. So the bigger you can go, the better. But if you're kind of tight for space, the mini's a great option for you. If you want to use the same lights I do. These are LED lights, so they dim to really, 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 really low. Let's, let's, let's dim them right now, shall we watch? I'll put my hand here and we'll dim. Sound effects included. But you can kind of get it to any setting that you want, which is great. So if you want it really, really low, because you want to have something in the background show up or vice versa, they have the option to do that and they don't burn hot. You're not gonna like sweat at the table while you're wearing a leather jacket making a video about lights like you typically would have years and years ago. So that is a awesome feature. Another really interesting way to light your videos is from directly above. This is what I do sometimes when I'm shooting B-roll of things on a table or I wanna make something even more dramatic. Right now, the light is kind of at like 11 o'clock facing me as close as I can get it because the table's in the way. But if I wanted to make that even more dramatic, I might put that light on a boom arm, hang it over the table, and then that light would look something like this. Just look how dramatic that is, so dramatic. I love it. That is what it looks like when it is hanging over top. Very dramatic, very cinematic, very like interrogation cell. Like you'd see this technique in Marvel or something on like the Netflix series if they wanna make someone look intimidating. However, lighting something from above does look so good when you are shooting objects. So if you are shooting pieces of gear or you wanna get a nice crispy shot of a thumbnail or a product for any type of video that you're making, this light is my favorite for that very reason. Oh, and if you wanted to see, here's a wide shot of what this looks Looks like, hit it. Looks pretty sweet, right? Looks like an official film set. Someone walks in and you're doing this, they're like, wow, you know what you're doing. So that is a super fast two minute Tuesday. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I definitely went over, but, <laughs> but that's a quick look at how I light my videos using one key light, which is the Aperture 120, the light dome and one light source, plug it in, good to go. And your videos will look like this. It does make a difference. I used to be the window light guy and I still do that when I'm vlogging, but if I can use a light in anything at any time, I will because bright pixels equal sharp pixels. Your video will look better if it's lit and it's bright. I hope you guys got something out of that. I'll leave the links to everything below if you wanna check it out yourself. That is your two minute Tuesday. Thank you 
you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's something that you're into 2018 style. Subscribe if you aren't already. That was a mess. <laughs> and, and I will see you guys in the next video. <gasps> Goodbye.